Hello and welcome to the Oral Health Channel. I'm your friendly neighborhood dentist, Dr. Rudra Mohan, and today we're going to be talking about post extraction Christmas or limited mouth opening. Let's start. At the outset, I would like to thank all the people who are a part of the international audience who have commented and probably seen the video on Christmas and any other videos that are in English. Usually I make the episodes in Hindi, which is one of the national languages of India. But then again, seeing the beautiful response from you guys, I think it has inspired me to make more content in English directed towards the international audience. Now, if you do have some sort of, you know, uh, queries or any sort of, you know, questions or apprehensions regarding any sort of dental treatment modality or any sort of oral health care problem, you might as well just comment in the section and I will probably go through it and I'll see if I've made a video in English. Otherwise, I will definitely try the best of my abilities to make a video. Now coming to the topic at hand, which is post extraction Christmas or limited mouth opening. First of all, I would really like to empathize with all the people who have gone through that and I'm really sorry that you have to go through that. Uh, on a personal note, I've gotten two of my wisdom teeth removed in the past out of which one extraction was very traumatic. And I had the same problem for about 12 to 14 days. I could not, or you know, speak, I could not eat. At the same time, the swelling was quite disfiguring. And obviously, it had led to some sort of, you know, uh, an impact on my social life as well at that point of time. But in hindsight, the important thing was that I was out of pain. And that was just about 12 to 14 days. For the viewers who are watching it and who are still uh, under discomfort after two weeks of the procedure, uh, that is the wisdom tooth surgery, I, I empathize with you and the fact that uh, it's not resolving is a matter of concern and you might want to go back to your dentist and probably ask them what the cause could be. Since Christmas is caused by a multifactorial etiology, that means there are a lot of causes, there's a lot of variables. It could be uh, any sort of, uh, you know, immunity related infection that could be possible at the site of you know surgery so we'll be talking about this whole thing at length um, in this video coming to what is Christmas Christmas is basically the lack of the ability of the mouth to open or the inability of opening the mouth to its desired or functional capacity I'm just trying to dial down on the whole scientific part about it so that you guys can understand it better it's very simple. In simple words, you're not able to open your mouth as much as you can usually, then it is known as Christmas. Now, there are a lot of causes about Christmas, but we're going to be talking about why Christmas happens after immediately or a, a few days after your wisdom tooth surgery. So there are a lot of causes when it comes to case selection as well. If your tooth is lying or sleeping in the bone or way too much embedded in the bone, your surgery is probably going to be lasting much longer than required. The literature says that any procedure that probably takes up more than 30 minutes of the time, there is high likely chance that the Christmas or the inability to open the mouth might be there for a prolonged period of time. If the tooth is infected to such an extent that it has actually involved the bone below the tooth, that is leading to marginal osteomyelitis, uh, which is something that might sound very scientific, but it's basically that the whole complex around or below the tooth that is infected the bone complex is also infected which can lead to after the tooth removal it can lead to post-operative swelling and that can cause the increased swelling can cause you know your inability to open the mouth also one more thing is that if the doctor has unfortunately put a lot of uh, you know injections at the injection site multiple injections at the injection site can also lead to trauma to the muscle and lead to its spasms due to which you can have Christmas. The literature also says that if you go for a buccal approach, now I'll tell you what buccal and lingual means. So buccal means from your cheek side and lingual me means from your tongue side. If you go from a buccal approach and you are going with the whole flap being, uh, you know, raised, flap mean that the gum part that they kind of cut and incise and then they kind of reflect it and open it so that they can see the bone and remove the bone. Now, if that is from the cheek side, most likely it might have happened that you have gone and you have probably injured as a dentist or a provider you have injured the tendon of one of the muscles that help in chewing now that could be one of the cases or if the flap has been extended way beyond its actual requirement that could be one of the reasons otherwise whatever retractors that they're placing in your mouth and if it's being pulled on too hard at that point of time and for a very prolonged period of time that could lead to a lot of trauma in that area 
So there are a lot of causes when it comes to Trismus. Uh, the best way to go about it is uh, we have to make sure that it is caught at the right time. That means the tooth has not infected the bone firstly. Secondly, the case selection is proper and the time of the surgery is planned very well so that it is well within the time limit. That's approximately 30 minutes what I've seen in the literature and obviously trying to avoid multiple injection sites with the injection of the local anesthetic and careful and minimally invasive surgery where you're even if you're removing the bone it is done you know not too vigorously and not traumatizing the area now as a patient when i talk to you about it uh, i understand that the discomfort is very harrowing uh, let me tell you some very straight up facts post-operative trismus and swelling swelling is basically the increase in the size of that area and trismus is the inability to open the mouth Immediate post-op trismus might not happen too fast, the swelling might come on, but then again, the trismus can last up to two weeks. That's the regular uh, norm that has been seen, uh, that the trismus lasts about two weeks, and in some cases, unfortunately, it has lasted about 45 days. Now, what you need to do and understand about this is definitely, as a patient, what can you do? First of all, make sure that your oral hygiene is spick and span, whatever you're doing, so that your, firstly, your wisdom tooth which does not get infected secondly you have to make sure that the area is kept clean so whatever post-operative instructions that is normal saline you know rinsing and all those things that your doctor has told you please follow those instructions properly please take all the prescribed medications as per the instructions that is very important you cannot miss a day of medicine and you cannot be you know compliant about the fact that you know all right it's it's not hurting me right now so i don't i can't take the medicine Secondly, it has been found that if the surgery is very invasive, I mean your tooth is lying down and it's deep into the bone or it's near the, you know, one side, one plate of the bone or maybe it's near the nerve and we are expecting uh, some sort of uh, invasive surgery, a dexamethasone uh, injection by the provider or the dental uh, surgeon can probably help you out. That is the discretion of the treating surgeon. Now, what you need to understand is if you're going through this, you need to understand that it will eventually go away. Provided you are taking care of all the instructions, you're using hot compresses, maybe go for physiotherapy, that will help. Uh, do exercises as much as you can and you have to be patient. It's very important because of the fact that if you keep on manipulating around that area that it's not going, it's not going, it's kind of disturbing the whole thing. If you've gotten stitches there and the stitches are too tight, it may be possible that the post-operative edema. So I'll tell you what edema is all about. Inflammation is a very natural healing thing in the body which is accompanied by pain, heat, uh, swelling and loss of function and other things as well. So basically edema is basically inflammation which is the swelling and if the sutures are too tight, the stitches are too tight in that area, there might be a chance that there is a collection of the swelling and the fluid that is happening post-operatively which is not getting enough space to drain out. Now that comes in contact with probably a muscle which is probably uh, slightly severed you know while the procedure is happening and that kind of creates an area of exudate that's what i've seen and i've read in the literature uh, i'm not pinpointing anything is that it's going to happen with everyone uh, sometimes i've seen patients who don't have any post post-operative swelling and they're fine there's no trismus but then again if you're one of those uh, patients who have unfortunately had trismus don't worry it's completely fine all you need to do is take systemic anti-inflammatory uh, medications and antibiotics if necessary that will be deemed necessary by your dental surgeon and uh, just a little bit of physiotherapy that you can do um, by 15th day it should go down if it's not happening post two months you might want to get yourself checked out with the dental surgeon and probably maybe requiring some other physiotherapy or some sort of you know self um, improvement on the mouth opening exercises and any sort of inter intervention that might be deemed necessary by the treating professional. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, you know, to cut to the chase that don't worry about the fact that if you're having Christmas, um, everyone has to go through it. If it's a very invasive surgery, you have to make sure that there's a high likely chance that the tooth was so infected that the bone was infected too. And once you scrape off that bone, because after the tooth is removed, you, you know, you uh, basically clean out the socket and you make sure that whatever infected lining of the socket that is present is also removed. So if in that case that the bone was infected by a long-standing infection, 
there's a high likely chance that post operative swelling might develop and that would lead to increased uh, you know uh, increased swelling and at the same time decreased mouth opening because of the trismus but it definitely does go away that's all that i can tell you out of after reading a lot of articles uh, going through a lot of scientific reviews and everything it does go away and if it's not going away then you need to go back to your dentist and probably ask them what can be done and they should take responsibility of that and make sure that whatever intervention that is required even if a general physician needs to come in to probably you know check for any sort of osteomyelitis or any sort of systemic administration of any sort of analgesics is required uh, i think you should go for that so this was my episode i understand your pain and agony i've gone through it myself and that's why i have created this video because after a couple of weeks it should go down if it's not going down you need to go back to the dentist you need to get their opinion about what is happening and you need to get immediate intervention in whatever way possible that might be fruitful for your uh, resolution of your problem so this was today's episode i hope you like it i'm really overwhelmed by the fact that you guys internationally have uh, you know read uh, about me and <clears throat> you know commented on uh, the, the youtube videos that i've created it has inspired me much further to kind of create more content and if you do feel that i need to make more videos in english uh, pertaining to your oral health needs uh, please do comment in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel so that's it for today i'm dr rudra mohan and this is the oral health channel thank you